Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in our constituency offices, we are experiencing a, a steady escalation of people whose lives are really being turned upside down by sudden and often very dramatic increases in their rent, uh, amounting to the hundreds of dollars. Um, we know that these are, in many cases, increases that people can't afford to pay, and that this is a reflection of a vacancy rate uh, that in this city has shrunk to a microscopic now 1%. We also know that when this same situation was being faced by other provinces in BC or Ontario or Quebec uh, and in PEI, they brought in rent control. So I want to ask the Premier, will he share his reasoning about why, in his view, the people of Nova Scotia don't deserve the same rent control protections as people in BC, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec and PEI? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank the member for raising uh, this all-important issue. He is very passionate. I want to give him, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, his due, uh, continuing to make sure that this issue hits the floor of the legislature, that we continue to debate and discuss it. As he knows, we've made uh, some investments in rent, rent subs uh, supporting, Mr. Speaker, affordable housing. Uh, we'll have more to say about that in the coming weeks, Mr. Speaker. I want to uh, assure the honourable member uh, it is a concern to all members of this House uh, that this growing economy, particularly here in, in HRM, but not specifically just to HRM, but the growing economy has certainly put pressure, Mr. Speaker, on families when it comes to uh, affordability around housing, uh, and uh, we will continue to work with him. But at no point have we seen uh, the, uh, the public policy position that the Honourable Member taken that actually drives the results uh, that we would hope they would. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Mr. Speaker, there is zero evidence that rent supplements are an effective affordable housing mechanism in a situation of a vacancy rate like we have at the moment here, which is lower than that in Toronto or in Vancouver. And this has made looking for an apartment in this city practically into the same thing as having another job. Uh, night after night, people spend hours and hours uh, searching for vacancies, uh, uh, applying to vacancies, uh, and then and lining up with great groups of people uh, who are making applications uh, and hoping they might be the one person selected for the, the unit that's come up. This is the definition, Mr. Speaker, of an imbalanced market. And when markets get imbalanced in this kind of way, it's the government's responsibility responsibility to restore that balance. So I want to ask the Premier, can he explain his reluctance to bring balance to the rental market in Nova Scotia through regulation? The Honourable Premier. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, I disagree with, with the premise of that question. Mr. Speaker, we've continued uh, to make investments in affordable housing, Mr. Speaker, and the Honourable Member would know there are a myriad of options when it comes to housing. We have people, Mr. Speaker, that require support uh, uh, overnight to be supported. How do we do that with our shelters across the province? How do we ensure that new homeowners get a chance to come into the rental marketplace, Mr. Speaker, first time home buyers? Uh, investments that we've made, he's very right. Uh, rent, rents in, this, in, the, in the region have, have increased substantially, Mr. Speaker. That's why we brought in the rent subs. Uh, he disagrees with that public policy, and I appreciate his position and where he stands. And we need to continue to make sure that we provide more housing options uh, for Nova Scotia families and individuals here uh, in HRM, but indeed across the province. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. M Mr. Speaker, I contend that the Premier is not facing the severity of the basic numbers. The average rent for a two-bedroom apartment in Nova Scotia went up 3.5% last year. The average rent for a, a three-bedroom apartment went up 4.7%. Uh, for a one-bedroom, 4%. And in the same period, the, con the consumer price index in Nova Scotia only went up by 1%. So I want to ask the Premier, does his government have any intention of doing anything whatsoever to protect the people of the province from rent increases that are triple, quadruple and practically quintuple the increases we're seeing in the CPI? The Honourable Premier. Uh, yes. 